Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear students, uh, you are welcome to the next uh, lecture on decision making. Uh, dear students, as you all know, decision making is an important uh, part in planning process of management. Uh, so today we will start from the definition of decision making. As per Harold Kuhn's and Hans Verich, it is defined as the selection of a course of action from among alternatives. It is the core of planning. It is, however, a step in planning process. A plan cannot be said to exist unless a decision, a commitment, or resources, direction, etc. has been made. Dear students, uh, here the, uh, the author says that uh, decision making means uh, to choose uh, from among alternatives from different options uh, from different options we will have to choose the best one yeah, the best possible one and uh, then we call it a decision making why it is important it is important because uh, in when we do planning we will have to take decisions otherwise our planning will not be successful we can call we can't call it as, as, as a proper planning when there is no decision making uh, decision making means uh, like uh, we our company our organization launching uh, a new product uh, into a new market so the the management will decide whether we know how to go to new market or new customers or not whether there is a demand or, or not so after analyzing all these situation the management will decide whether to go or not to go this is decision making if they say that we will launch our product in such and such market in which they they took the decision they say that we will go uh, to such and such market it means they took the decision and it means uh, so 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 they decided to go there next uh, is uh, steps in the decision making or process of decision making uh, dear students uh, before discussing the uh, steps in decision making i will uh, tell you that the decision should be at right time as we can say that right decision at right time right decision at right time when you will take right decision at right time it will be a best one when we will uh, take decision uh, somewhat not in proper time it means there will be waste of resources our decision will not be successful so on right time as as uh, we can say as per right situation the right decision will have value it will give us much more benefits much more profits so decisions should be at proper time at proper for proper situations so that such a decision will be successful but we'll have to go through the process scientific process before taking such uh, such decisions so the steps are as they have been given here the first one is uh, uh, define the problem before uh, taking uh, decision on something we will have to go to the identification of the problem we should say to ourselves that whether there exists a problem or not whether there is a need or not we will have to recognize our need yeah, or we will have to recognize the problem so when we will recognize the problem it means we will have to go to the next step next step is that is collection of information the leader or manager will uh, now in the second step will collect relevant information according to the uh, the, the problem according to the specific problem which he has identified so after collection of information proper information and relevant information the manager and agent will be able to uh, go to the next stage and that is the identify the alternatives now the manager or leader uh, will have to find out the different course of actions or different options a b c d 
one, two, three, four, five options. Yeah, alternatives you will have to identify different course of actions you will have to uh, identify, find out. So after when the manager and leader they uh, became successful in finding out different uh, options or course of actions then they may go to the next step that is to analyze the alternatives now the manager or leader they are in a better position to uh, analyze uh, to analyze the each and every options or each and every course of actions of decision of their decision making process how they will analyze the alternatives or options they will see the positive and negative effects they will see the uh, merits and demerits of each and every options to the organizations to the employees point of view right after the analyzation after uh, studying thoroughly each and every options the leader and manager will be able to uh, get the best options from different alternatives that is choose the fifth uh, that is the fifth step that choose among the alternatives now the manager or leader they are in a better position because they have already analyzed the different options suppose one uh, two options are three or four or five options are, are alternatives they have analyzed their different merits and demerits pros and cons uh, to the organization and now they are in better uh, position to choose the best possible alternative suppose they they will say that as per the current situation the uh, the, the alternative number four is the best one or they are, are, are they can say that the alternative number two is the best one as per the current situation so that is the uh, selection or choosing uh, the one best alternative now coming to the next stage that is take action or implement the decision now the leader or manager has already chosen the best alternative now it means the manager or leader is taking action he is taking decision or he will implement his decision that i will uh, do this or that he said that we will uh, we will okay we will uh, produce uh, new uh, products as per customers needs and wants so now they have taken the action they have they now they have uh, taken the decision uh, uh, this is the execution of uh, decision making the seventh step is review our decision or establish monitoring system and feedback dear students uh, this is the last step in the decision making process now the leader and manager as they have already taken decision uh, so now they will analyze the results they will see the results of their decision whether it is a good one or the bad one or what kind of decision uh, results are coming they will monitor it they will establish evaluation system monitoring system they will uh, get the results and they then they will uh, they will analyze it and feedback they will get feedback from the field or from from their results so uh, for what purpose because these results uh, uh, will help the manager or leader in future decision making now uh, from this uh, ex the, the, this experience the leader and manager they will uh, they will uh, if the decision was not good so they will analyze their decision making process and they be careful in the future decision making they will say that we will did such and such blunders we will did such and such mistakes so they will be careful they will be uh, they will keep in mind such and such uh, their uh, shortcomings and in the future they will uh, make themselves uh, uh, they will rectify their decision making in the future uh, so uh, monitoring system and feedback will help the leader and manager to 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 uh, to make to to learn from their uh, experiences and uh, and making good decisions in future uh, as well
so this was the decision making uh, different decision making steps right from the identification of problem to the uh, review of decision review of results and uh, getting feedback next topic is importance of decision making dear students decision making has a great importance in our organization uh, because uh, this, the decision making that uh, makes a difference in the organization. The first one, the first point is optimum and efficient utilization of resources. Dear students, the manager or leader uh, is uh, they uh, take decisions. La, 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 la. Dear students, as they uh, managers or uh, leaders uh, they uh, when they take decision it means they will utilize the resources uh, of the organizations their decision making is very related to the resources of the organization so if your decision making is the good one it means the resources will be uh, utilized in a proper way in, a, in an effective and efficient way so the next point is uh, help decision making helps in problem solving and facing business challenges dear students uh, the good decision making uh, solves the problem the manager or leader uh, they, they uh, keep in mind the uh, future uh, uh, our external environment threats and opportunities keeping in mind all those threats and uh, opportunities they uh, take decisions they try to avoid the threats and they try their best to take advantages uh, from the uh, external environment and uh, in this way they face the challenges the they, 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 they managers and leaders uh, through their decision making they take the threats as a challenge they 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 will convert their challenges into opportunities that is the uh, the decision making of good leaders and managers the next point is helps in business growth and achieving objectives decision making uh, is uh, if uh, it's a good one it uh, helps the organization uh, to grow uh, because uh, if the manager and leader, they, their decision making is uh, uh, is the best one, so there will be uh, the quality products, and the products will be made according to the needs and wants of the customers. So and also if the employees are uh, they are satisfied, it means the business will grow and achieve objectives. Uh, the, the objective means he it will make much more profit and will reduce the cost so all these things uh, related to the decision making of manager and leader the next important point is facilitates effective management and innovation dear students when the decision making is the best one it means uh, the the the, the, the uh, it, it results will be a good one uh, as you know dear students um, the manager and leader will have to uh, will have to be uh, very um, uh, effective uh, while observing the external environment the, the changes in the environment what kind of uh, uh, changes uh, what kind of strategies the competitors are adopting if there is the, the competitors uh, have bring something innovative products that the, the manager and leader will have to keep in mind all these happenings in the external environment and he will have to take decisions regarding the innovation uh, innovative products it means the decision making is uh, very important and if there is innovation it means the, the company will get the competitive advantage as compared to their competitors so the next important point is that is uh, motivates implies and improves overall business performance good decision making motivates implies because uh, the, the the manager and leader uh, uh, if they get the right decision at the right time regarding the implies motivation if they uh, so when the implies will be satisfied 
uh, if they will be motivated it means their performance will be high and this performance uh, means the, if the organization performance implies uh, when they will betterly perform in the organization will have high growth and higher sale and higher profit uh, so next uh, topic is uh, decision making models there are different decision making models but here we will uh, study three decision making models the first one is rational decision making models dear students uh, in this model uh, the first point is information and alternatives can be gathered and quantified the decision is important you are trying to maximize the output. Rational decision making means the decision making on the basis of reason, argument. And, and this kind of decision making is taken when there is uh, uh, the manager and leader have full access to the information. He has no such time and other pressures. So, he has, uh, so, so in such a situation, he will adopt the rational decision making. He will, uh, he will get all kind of, uh, get all kind of alternatives. He will analyze the alternatives. He will choose the best option, and then he will take decision uh, regarding the problem, regarding the uh, the need. So, uh, rational decision making uh, is, uh, is 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 uh, related to the uh, uh, normal uh, condition. Uh, when the manager has access to each and every kind of information and he has time and uh, such kind of things so uh, he will have to adopt the rational decision making but this is not possible in each every time rational decision making you can't adopt in a uh, in, in an urgency situation because when you are in a when you have um, time pressure and other kind of uh, pressures you will not uh, have to go through uh, different stages and uh, getting information, analyzing them and all these things uh, you can't do that. So you, the next uh, uh, model is bounded rationality. This is also called limited rationality model. Uh, this model is used when the minimum criteria are clear. You don't have or you are not willing to invest much time in making the decision and uh, you are not trying to maximize uh, your outcome. So uh, when you uh, when you have some kind of uh, time pressure, uh, or you don't want to invest uh, too much in time and other resources, you will you 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 may adopt the bounded rationality. You say that uh, whatever the informations are available to you, you rely on those informations and then you uh, take uh, the decisions you you are not you, you are you will not go through the uh, each and every kind of alternatives and information regarding the problem but uh, due to time pressure you other pressure uh, resources or other kinds of uh, barriers you say that whatever the uh, availability of uh, information or resources you say that as per this availability you take your decisions and this is called satisfy this is also called satisfying uh, decision making uh, so uh, so this is uh, uh, another kind of uh, decision making model so uh, the next one is intuitive decision making model uh, in due to decision making model is used when goals are unclear, there is time pressure and analysis would be costly and uh, you have experience with the uh, problem. Intuition although uh, it is called, uh, uh, it is not recognized by the science but still it is used uh, as a decision making model. Uh, this intuition is uh, uh, on the basis of experience and knowledge. When a person has passed through different uh, such uh, kind of uh, situations, so when such uh, when similar situation arises to the the manager or leader, he will be uh, in a position to uh, take decision on such a uh, problem. So uh, here it says the goals are unclear, time pressure analysis would be costly, 
so uh, sometimes uh, the managers they uh, think analytically and uh, within no time they take decisions and uh, because they have the time and other kinds of pressures time pressure and these kinds of pressure so they adopt the intuit intuitive model uh, but uh, it is very difficult becomes very difficult when there is such a new kind of uh, situation develops so uh, such situation it will be very difficult for intuitive model so these were the three uh, models of decision making uh, hope you have uh, understood and uh, inshallah uh, we will meet uh, in the next lecture thank you allah peace